Hey, I'm Bruce with Trick Tools, down here in Greenville, South Carolina with my brother Craig. And uh, just want to show you a little bit about the next level in tube bending. Now, a lot of you know that uh, my brother and I have been selling tube bending machines for, what, about 27, 27 years? 27 years, I think, yeah. So we've been doing this a long time. We started with some different machines, but uh, we're going to talk a little bit about transfluid machines today. Transfluid, we've been working with transfluid since the late 90s, like yeah, 20, 25 years. Yeah, so, so yeah. there's this is a German company, um, and um, they've opened a location down here in Greenville now. Craig's actually the vice president of Transfluid US. And we came down here just to check out some of the new machines. Um, one of them that I want to show you today is a, is a full CNC machine. Um, we've We've done videos on the 2076, this K machine, the compact machine. We've sold a lot of these machines to guys doing exhaust headers and, and uh, race car projects, things like that. Um, this machine is not really considered CNC. It's more of a manual positioning of the tube with a programmable bend angle um, style. But what we've got to show you today um, is full CNC. So what does that mean, Craig? Show us, show us what you got here and give us a little rundown. Sure. Yeah, I mean, if we stop here a second, with this machine we have the link stops and the rotary stops in a manual function with, with scales to set them up, whereas on the CNC machine it's actually three axis controlled so as you can see it has a servo motor to position and to rotate the tube uh, so it's controlling all three axis where this was a single axis machine. Uh, so all the before. movements and the bending and everything is controlled by the computer and driven by the by the hydraulics? Is it hydraulics on this machine? It's, it, the bend head is hydraulic, the rest of it's electric servo motors. So uh, it's a servo hydraulic system which is kind of state of the art compared to the older hydraulics where you heard the the drone and all the noise this one's running right now so it's real quiet and uh, that's great doesn't build up a lot of heat a lot of advantages new technology and hydraulic machines today so how big a tube can we bend with this machine it's really exactly the same capacity as the other machine we were talking about it will do two inch schedule 40 pipe in the pipe arena and it'll do up to three inch OD tubing for the exhaust guys very cool so this is driven by what? Is there a control center, a, a computer that runs it? Yeah, the, uh, the screen over here shows the operating system right here, and then there's also a programming side to it right here where you actually design your part and actually simulate it on the screen before you send it to the operating system. We use a Siemens uh, control, the S7 control on this particular machine and uh, we really like the Siemens platform throughout because Siemens is, has a great support system and they also have parts availability guaranteed for 10 years after they obsolete a component. So That's it really great. helps us to support the machine. When you spend this much money, a lot of guys are worried about the thing becoming obsolete yeah. or losing support or not being, not being able to keep using it after a few years. So it's a, it's a big investment, but it's gonna last a very long time. Well, let's look a little closer at the at the way the control works here. Sure. So if I know what I want my finished product to look like, how do I get that into this machine so I can end up with a piece of bent tube? Yeah, it's really simple. That's one of the nice parts of the CNC is, is I can just put my coordinates in here, either in XYZ or LRA, but if I happen to put the dimension in which direction I want it to go, you can see it start drawing itself on the screen. Um, and I just tell it how many inches over, how many inches up, uh, or towards me or away from me. I can rotate it around and look at it. There's the basic geometry center to center distances. Uh, then when I go to the next tab here, it actually applies my tooling from my tooling database. I can select the tool that I want to bend that material with. Um, and then also it gives me the spring back and the stretch of that particular material that I've saved in here in my program. Uh, with the various material types. Very cool, so now we can see what we're gonna build. Just in a few seconds we can design it right here and this software is all included with the machine? Yeah, it comes with the machine. Uh, you get a network version, you can also load a copy of this onto a desktop uh, in an office 
and you can either use one or the other or you can buy an additional seat where you can run them both at the same time. Very cool. So great for production type work. Yeah, then the next step that's really great in today's environment is uh, it actually simulates the part before you run it so you can see if there's any interferences, you can know what it's going to do. You can do this from an office and it'll give you the developed cut length uh, so you can have parts cut and ready to go. Uh, you can also test it in an office if you're bidding a job so you know if the part can be run or not without adding a weld. Um, and it'll also give you a process time if you program it that way. So uh, yeah, it's really helpful, really great uh, tool. And then from here, basically, we would export the program here uh, and then just go into the operational side and run it. So, uh, so what if I'm using SolidWorks or something like that and I have a part already designed? Can I use yeah, that in this? That's, where, where I showed you here where I designed the part, all I do is hit the import button and I import a step file or 3D format of some sort and it'll pull this geometry in right away. So once it pulls the geometry in, uh, then I just walk through the same stages. So this is really cool, but what if I get a different operator or I'm struggling and I run into problems? I mean, with this company being in Germany, I mean, how do we... How do we get support or help on a machine like this? Nah, that's really one of the nice things about this is, for one, that's why we set up here in Greenville to be able to support domestically, of course. Uh, we can tap into the server in Germany, get all the information we need from the original manufacturer since we're uh, owned by them. But um, it also gives us the ability to uh, go online with this control and we can look at the program right with you if it's a programming question or a problem you have we can get on there and coach or uh, train a new operator or you know do a refresh uh, on the programming side or as they get more advanced stuff we can just jump online and help uh, as far as the operational side what's really neat is we open up this team viewer and that's how we access it but we can sit here and look at the programming screen with you also the Siemens platform along with the, the software operating system that Transfluid designs themselves uh, is really simple. So it's in this position right here, the function button is lit and it's on line five, it's telling you that it's waiting for the start button. But if that was any other axis and it stopped, we could tell immediately what function it was trying to perform. We have some digits over here as far as minimum, maximum where it's actually at and where it's trying to go to. So the troubleshooting on this machine is really easy and can be done online and save a day or two and a lot of travel cost. So what are the advantages of a, a fully CNC machine versus the more manual versions? Mainly the fact that it will automatically position the part and uh, make it by your design in seconds of setup. And if you want to change from one part to another, it's as simple as file open select the next part and run it rather than on the older machines it took 15 or 20 minutes to set up the stops and to, to change over from one part to another where this is virtually less than a minute. So we can bend like a handrail part or something you may not need a whole lot of a single shape but you can switch between different designs and different shapes to make a complete handrail system. Yeah really handrails are all usually field measured and and one of this, one of that. So this machine was kind of designed around that industry and you can go to the control, make a change or enter all new dimensions uh, and make the part. A four bend part takes about a minute on this and, and probably equally a minute or so to program. So compared to the older style, it was maybe 15 minutes to set it up and maybe five to 10 minutes to manipulate the part to actually make it come out the way you wanted it to. So a real time savings in the end for a manufacturer. Yeah, the setup time is, is the most of it. The programming uh, is where you save a lot of time and then the production, there is some time savings there as well. So what if I do need to make a whole bunch of parts the same? I mean, how repeatable would a machine like this be? Yeah, that's the beauty of a CNC. Uh, one of the differences, we have a hydraulic collet, which grips the part uh, much more accurately and tight. With mandrel bending, uh, you have hydraulic clamps, so there's no chance of the 
part slipping while it's clamped and also bending over a mandrel it seems to be a lot more consistent so once we've developed those uh, parameters we can use those at any part geometry that we program into it it could be one or it could be a hundred and then down the road we can save that go back to it and make a hundred of them just the same really quick setup so would you say it's uh, accurate to what uh so the bend angle is accurate to a tenth of a degree. The positioning, the linear positioning of the machine is accurate plus or minus eight thousandths. So it's really tight for uh, most of this type of work. Excellent. So if you'd like more information on the Transfluid CNC mandrel benders or any of the other machines, check out our website at tricktools.com or you can check out transfluid-us.com as well or give either of our companies a call. We'd be glad to talk to you about your application specifically. But Craig, there's actually a lot more that Transfluid offers, more so than the two machines we've talked about so far. What else could they find there? Yeah, Transfluid has a full range of product uh, from quarter inch tubing up to 12 inch pipe. Uh, we do the hydraulic technology, then we go to the all electric machines, which do some additional functions like roll forming and uh, stack tools, multiple tool, automatic tool changing. Uh, we have a right left machine for difficult geometries. We have loaders and unloaders for all of those products and uh, end forming machines to form the end of the tubes and then automation and robots to pass from one process to the next. So Transfluid really does offer a whole world of tube processing solutions, end forming, uh, tube bending, everything from the small exhaust shop mandrel bender up to a full robotic cell for manufacturing. So we really appreciate you watching this video today. Hopefully you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.